welcome to the Tall Girl Tuesday podcast. It's your girl, Danny, And on this week's episode of News and Libations, I wanted to first start off by letting you guys know what I'm drinking. As usual, I'm sipping on some red wine. The wine of the evening is the Cardinal Sweet Red. It is amazing. I love it. It's by San Antonio Winery. If you haven't had it, grab yourself a bottle or four. It's definitely second, like runner up to my uh, Dornfelder. But um, for this week's episode of News and Libations, I wanted to come on here briefly and discuss the fact that this week is in fact Mental Illness Awareness Week and um, Mental Illness Awareness Week began Sunday, October 4th, and it ends on Saturday, October 10th. Um, uh, Mental illness is something that is extremely important to me. I think I've expressed it several times. I That's my background. I've worked in psychiatric hospitals. I've worked in group homes with children and adults. I'm a behavioral specialist. I have all of these different ties into the mental health community like that is my passion that is my joy that population is the population I feel most comfortable serving and um yeah this is the week to bring awareness to mental illness and um I just wanted to give a couple quick tips and just let you guys know like Now is the time, if not any other time, to just reach out to somebody, check on someone, see how they're feeling, see how they are doing, see if they need anything. Just put yourself out there to see if anyone needs anything or, you know, if you can be of service to anyone, because we all know that, you know, we're all suffering through things right now. And, um, this is the week, like, I'm just asking everyone to take a day or an hour or two dedicated this week to just checking in and being, you know, being mindful of the things that are happening in your friends and family's lives that, you know, are impactful. So I wanted to say that I wanted to start off with that first and just, um, yeah, a lot of people don't know it is a real thing. Mental illness is serious. And, um, this week is in fact serious. (laughs) It's, it's definitely something that we need to raise awareness about and, um, we can all do our part. I'm. I do what I do. You know, I've spoken about the things that I do for the community on several occasions. I, too, have also expressed my anxiety disorder and not so much in depth yet. Maybe that'll come down the line, maybe season two. I'll get into more of that. But um, you never know. Just a text, a call, a pop up, a visit, what it can do for someone. And, um, I just wanted to put that out there. Also wanted to let you guys know that in terms of the volunteer work that I do for the disaster response crisis counselor, the call volume has been increasing lately. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that, that, um, things don't seem to be getting too much better in terms of the pandemic and, the struggles and stressors that families are having to deal with. So I just wanted to minute to just be mindful that it's a lot of things going on in the world and things that people don't feel like they can control. So if you can help, please extend your gratitude to help someone. And, um, Take some time to check on your friends, your family members, a neighbor, anyone who you might feel could be of use 
of something that you can provide, I just ask that you do it this week. If any other week, this one. And um, also wanted to say to check in with yourself. Don't forget to check in with yourself. Take some time for you. Focus on the things that you need. Focus on the things that you need to work on. Take some time to do the things that you enjoy and to spend your time doing something that makes you happy as well. Because you can't pour from an empty cup, as they say. So self-care this week is definitely a priority. I'm speaking for myself. I laid out a couple of things that I want to, well, put some special attention into regarding um, my own life and my own wellness. Hopefully you guys will do the same thing. Just take some time out to focus on your health and wellness this week. Your mental health, definitely. Physical as well, but definitely your mental health. As I always say it when I'm speaking of mental illness and the things that I do provide services for the county of Essex. If there's any way that I can help, don't forget you can always email me, reach out to me. It would be 100% confidential. And um, if, if there's anything that I can do, let me know. And if it's something that I can take care of, I'll do my best to. And if not, I can at least try to point you into the direction of where you could get that out. Very quick and right to the point. I think this is something that I'll always push and talk about is mental illness and uh, mental health. Because again, as I said, that is what I'm most passionate about. I love to service the community. And um, that's where I find that I thrive the most. And just be kind. Just remember to be kind. I had a situation that happened to me at work last week. And I have to say, ever since then, it's made me really reflect on the way that I treat people and um, respond and react to people in my own life. And after the situation happened, I kept saying to myself and, you know, a friend of mine that I was speaking to about it, that I hope that I never have made anyone feel the way that the person um, I'm speaking of in terms of uh, for work made me feel. I hope that that feeling that they projected onto me is something that I've never made anyone experience. And um, I was just speaking to the universe and just apologizing out loud as if anyone was around me and could hear me. But I was feeling so low and I just couldn't believe that it happened. And um, I was just like, wow, words hurt. And that's one thing that we all have control over. And especially in a professional situation, there should never be a point where a person feels so bad or hurt and they're just trying to do their job. So I think we just need to be more mindful about how we treat ourselves and each other. I'll leave that as the final message for the episode. I thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube at Tall Girl Tuesday, the podcast, Instagram and Twitter at Tall Girl Tuesday. Don't forget to shop my Teespring app. Get yourself some Tall Girl Tuesday merch. The link is in the bio on all my social media pages. And as always, you can email me at tgtthepodcast at gmail.com. I'm continuing to look for sponsors and submissions for guests for next season. Definitely hit me up. And as always, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next